In this video, we will discuss the activation and the differentiation of T cell, especially focusing on TH cells, which are T helper cells. We will discuss what are the different stages of CD4 positive T cell activation and differentiation. We will discuss the stage of antigen recognition. We will discuss the stage of activation. We will discuss the stage of uh, differentiation as well as the clonal expansion. I hope that this video is going to help you to understand the differentiation and the activation of T cell in more detail. And we are also going to discuss the role of interleukin 2 in T cell differentiation. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to this channel and show your support. If you like the video, please hit the like button. In this video, we're going to discuss the T cell activation, specifically CD4, naive T cell activation and differentiation. So to explain this particular topic right now, what I'm doing is designing antigen presenting cell. And the receptor that you are seeing in green color is the MHC receptor, in which is involved in the presentation of any antigenic molecule. And when this particular cell interacts with T cell, in this case, naive T cell, since I've already told you that we're going to discuss CD4 positive T cell, so, so this is CD4 positive naive T cell. So as you can see here, antigen presenting cell, so let me write it down, antigen presenting cell, it's also known as APC in short. So APC, which is antigen presenting cell, is presenting a particular antigenic peptide, which is you're seeing here in pink color, to CD4 positive T cell. And it's naive T cell. Naive T cell means it's not been exposed to any antigenic uh, molecule before. So this interaction is going to cause a reaction, which is also known as uh, clonal expansion, because of that, this naive T cell is going to differentiate into a factor as well as the memory T cells. I'm not going to discuss the memory T cells, but I do want to mention that effector T cells will be produced after this interaction and that will cause the activation of macrophages, that will cause the activation of B cells as well as some other cells. You will also have memory cells that will protect if antigenic specific a pathogenic molecule enters in your system again. So this is a simple way where I'm trying to show you how T cell activates and differentiate. So I'm trying to design all the receptors so that you can you can see this looks like a T cell. One important point if you haven't seen my video on the cytokines so you should watch that video because IL2 plays an important role in the differentiation of T cell. So here, IL-2 will be produced by these antigenic, uh, antigen, antigen presenting cells. They are going to help naive T cells to differentiate into a factor as well as the memory T cells. So I've written CD4E, that means CD4 effector T cell, CD4 positive N, that means CD4 positive naive T cell. And this particular stage that I'm right now highlighting will occur in peripheral tissue. And the initial stage where you have antigen presentation will occur in lymphoid organs. So you need to remember that. So I hope now the overall topic is clear. Let's summarize all these steps. Okay, I'm going to again mention all the processes that are involved in activation. So I will call it as a maybe steps, right? So the first step will be antigen presentation or antigen, maybe let's write it recognition. So antigen recognition, where you have antigen presenting cells, they are involved, they're going to express the molecules to knife CD4 positive T cells. And what is the second stage? In the second stage, you will have the stage of activation, activation of knife T cell. And because of that activation plus 
clonal expansion, you will have effected T cells. So the third stage, which is important here, is clonal expansion. We'll discuss that stage in uh, our later videos in detail. Final stage will be the differentiation where you will have effector cells that are going to activate macrophages, T cells and B cells. And you'll have memory cells that are going to help our body in remembering that particular pathogen. So I hope the process of T cell activation and differentiation now is a little bit clear to you. I hope now you understand the function and the activation as well as the differentiation of T cells. I hope now you understand how the activation as well as the differentiation of T cell takes place. In this video, we have discussed the stages that are involved in the T cell activation as well as differentiation. We have discussed the antigen recognition. We have discussed the activation, clonal expansion, as well as the differentiation. We have also discussed the roles of effector T cells. Thank you for watching the video. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support. If you like the video, please hit the like button.